Hearthstone is a card game. A credit card game. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. There's a little uh, <laughs> games as a service joke for you all there. <laughs> Do you want another one? Okay. <laughs> Hearthstone is a card game in which the most powerful card has a three digit number on the back. <laughs> one more? Okay, yeah, one more. <laughs> Hearthstone is a card game in which the winner is decided by skill. Hello and welcome to the world's worst review of Hearthstone. Where there's a 0% chance of hearing that something is good, there's a 0% chance of hearing that something is bad, and there's approximately a 79.6% chance that I've won this game. My opponent is playing Thief Rogue, the typical build of which has no cards that can counter the position I'm in at this moment. Their only chance is for them to play Reconnaissance, a card that allows them to discover a death rattle minion, i.e. a minion that triggers a specific effect upon its death and find either Light Shower Elemental or Undying Disciple. No other card in the game can save them, not even Mida Pure Light, because while it does have lifesteal and will heal my opponent for all the damage it deals, it doesn't have Torn, which means I'm not forced to attack it and destroy it before I can attack anything else. There are currently 29 death rattle cards from non-rogue classes in the game, and Discover offers you a choice of three, so the odds of my opponent finding one of the two in 29 cards that can save them from a choice of three is equivalent to the odds of two occurring in 29 three times, approximately 21.4%. In simple terms, there is less than a 1 in 4 chance that I am about to effectively lose this game on the spot due to something completely out of my control. This clear. Hearthstone is a card game for weird little freaks like me. If you've ever wanted to play a game that wears the disguise of a skill-intensive battle of wits before sweeping the rug out from under you and loudly squeezing a clown horde in your face three turns in, well, this one's for you, idiot. Let me give you a quick crash course on how Hearthstone works if you're unfamiliar. Hearthstone is an online collectible card game designed by an eccentric group of runaway circus performers whom, since the game's release in 2014, seem to have fired at least 80% of the monkeys who were initially among them. It's based on the lore of World of Warcraft, which is a bit like the lore of Halo, which is a bit like the lore of Destiny in that it was definitely made up by like four white guys who had never watched a movie that didn't end with an army guy mowing down a platoon of racial stereotypes before. In Hearthstone you choose one of currently ten characters who represent ten classes and one body type across World of Warcraft. These characters who represent these classes each have a number of class cards exclusive to them and you build your deck of 30 out of them whilst likely mixing in some neutral cards, cards that any class can use in there as well. Then you likely go online and play against others to gain points and increase your ranking to improve the in-game rewards you receive at the end of the month and inflate the ego that you otherwise don't have because you don't have any actual accomplishments in real life. And the hits just keep coming because Hearthstone is one of those games as a service type things. You know, the whole, play it for free, but we're gonna charge you like crazy on cosmetics and microtransactions and tons of things you can use to get ahead of your opponents who aren't giving us money kind of thing. Pay to win, basically. Yeah, one of those kind of things. It even has a generic subtitle like so many other bland western properties designed to suck you in with promises of badass legends and champions or whatever. See? Look! Heroes of Warcraft! Oh, we've been over this. Let's get this straight, Hearthstone. If having lame shit attached to your name was a red flag, you would be a fucking golf course. And yet, Hearthstone has had an interesting little character arc for itself. In the beginning, and certainly for its first few years, Hearthstone was pretty much what everyone expected it would be. A largely cynical cash cow with some redeemable elements and clear sparks of passion put into its development, overshadowed by a draconian in-game economy and game balance with all the structural integrity of a triple cheeseburger made out of leaves. It was made nigh on impossible by the game's quote-unquote reward system for players to afford all the cards they wanted without shelling out real-life cash unless they were in the top five or so percent of players who consistently finished at legend rank at the end of every month. And it was nigh on impossible for players who didn't want to pay money to finish at legend rank every month because sometimes your opponent would just play tunnel truck on turn one. GG, shake my hand, you silly cunt. Since its meeting with the ghost of Christmas future, by which I mean Twitter, Hearthstone has however turned around somewhat. Players now receive free legendary cards at the beginning of every new expansion and there are achievements and further rewards to be earned by simply playing the game. It's easier than ever to make the deck 
projects you want and succeed without having to pay. That's still not to say it's easy, but easier. Additionally, they now quite frequently roll out these things called ba ba uh, balance patches? Patches? Where they take some of the really silly cards that used to win you the game the moment you played them and make it so they don't do that. It's really smart stuff, actually. Having listened to developer interviews and watched them interact with the community at large, there's no doubt in my mind that the Hearthstone devs wanted the game to achieve more delicate balances like this a lot sooner, but unfortunately, there's only so much cynical profit you can forego when your game exists under the stumpy little thumbs of a greedy, greedy airbrushed, money, money grubbing rice crispies. Crispies. I would say that Hearthstone really started to turn the monetization ship around in 2019 or 2020, but the game has existed since 2014. And that's a shame, because the devs clearly care about and love this game so much. There is real passion and artfulness here. From the charming and unique flavour text for every card, to the interactable game boards, to the way that every single card in the game has a unique voice line for when it's summoned and for when it attacks. And yes, a lot of these voice lines are just screaming, but that's probably because it's a card. You'd scream too. Hearthstone's flavour text and voice lines embed it with a sense of humour that World of Warcraft's breaking Benjamin listening 13 year old fan fiction Call of Duty montage watching sensibilities could only ever wet dream about. So much colour and personality and vibrancy props up a game that is... fine. It's fine! Solid. Reasonable. I like card games because they make me feel smart in a way that a lot of my YouTube comments that often miss about 50% of my jokes don't. But there's always been something holding me back from loving Hearthstone like I feel I should, and I've never quite been able to put my finger on it. But if I were to hazard a guess, I'd be willing to bet that fundamentally disagreeing with the game's core design philosophy might do it. Randomness is a fundamental part of Hearthstone, but in the past few years it's been made more prominent than ever. Cards generate more random cards and target random enemies with random effects all over the place. Classes like Mage and Priest have become almost defined by their ability to pull a win condition out of thin air. The devs like this. They want this. They stand up for it in interviews. They don't want games to feel samey, so they've engineered endless amounts of unpredictable variants to take place in almost every game. There's this official animated short wherein a pair of players sling endless cards at each other, resulting in all these fantastical effects and spectacular explosions. And I think that's what they think the randomness facilitates. In reality, it's more like, you got that off of that? Oh, you're shit. You're so shit. I'm gonna kill your whole fucking family. People play this game competitively for hundreds of thousands of dollars. And shit like this happens all the time. Gun. It hurts. Oh! It hurts. He actually got it. And you know, it used to make me angry. It's long been my problem with Hearthstone. But I kind of think I'm turning around on it. Because my time on YouTube had truly led me to believe that the goofy guy was a dying race. It's all about opinions and rankings and criticism now. There is no demand for the truly silly men who just want to make you smile. But then I watch the Hearthstone pros. I watch them throw themselves at the mercy of the roulette wheel for life-changing amounts of money time and time again. And it makes me smile. Because it's a reminder that even when times are at their darkest, there will always be silly men out there doing their silly little things. So now I think I say to hell with the problems with Hearthstone, with competitive integrity and deserved victories and all that bullshit. This is our space. This is a place where the goofy guys can thrive and be seen once again. I think I say, Godspeed, Hearthstone players. And Godspeed. All of us, all of us silly, silly little men.